All right, y'all, so called downstairs. Also, good morning. I think the last time I talked to y'all, uh, it was last night. So gotten dressed, chilled, done all that stuff, taking a bath, but <laughs> called downstairs. They're gonna let us look at the park villa. So she said that it's clean now and that no one is in it. And someone's gonna check in later on today. So if we hurry, they will let us look at the room now. So we're rushing downstairs. Jesse, change this damn shirt. Jesse has on this shirt. Oh my god. That's Scopholes for life. He's embarrassing. If you like Scott, check out Matthew Scopholes. Oh my god. So we're back in our room and that room was insane. It's, uh, I think it was maybe the sixth floor. Um, so it was like kind of the same view cause we could kind of see the same buildings from where we were in there. But uh, wow, wow. Jesse kept saying, I think our tub is better. I do think our tub is a little bit bigger than that tub, but that room was insane he said that sometimes it's like kind of people who are big balling who go into that room but sometimes uh a lot of times it is the casino taking care of the people who just spend a lot of money here so yeah i'll never spend that much money in a casino to have them put me up in a room like that i was mad when i lost my little twenty dollars that was in there so yeah god that was amazing god that room was insane and the the door was just a regular door very unassuming it looked like our door but then you walk in and it's just like <laughs> it's expensive <laughs> ridiculous so we're gonna go to this coffee place he found this really cool coffee place called what prototype coffee, prototype coffee. i assume they have chai lattes they have chai. then they have chai lattes so they we're gonna go they have hot chalk it's apparently this really cool looking coffee shop. Um, from the pictures that he showed me, it looks wild, so. I do like that. But I got the molasses chai. 
with oat milk. That has like perfect, perfect example of what I need for it to do that. Oh, that's like the most interesting chai I've ever had. That's really good. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You need to try this. Also, I got a vanilla waffle. You want to try it? Looks delicious, so. Let's, let's see what's up. It's like a glazed donut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I got the Blue Fog, which is, where is it? Blue Matcha, made from highly ground butterfly pea flowers and bergamot mixed with milk and sweetened with vanilla. So, let's try it. Hmm, oh, that's very interesting. That's really interesting, Joe. like a <laughs> am I curious I'm not all right you got the number 17 just got the Guatemala Asatanago <laughs> wash geisha jasmine red apple and toffee how is it hmm Nope, you're correct. Don't. <laughs> he likes that real coffee. Mine is very interesting because it's not like, it's just like a warm, it's basically a warm herbal tea. Coffee place was really cool. My blue matcha was interesting. It was very good. I won't say it's very good. It was interesting. But Jesse loved his coffee. We had to come through a real sketch part of a, <laughs> <laughs> Vancouver to get here because uh, we saw somebody smoking meth but now we're gonna head to I think Stanley Park and see the totem poles before we have our revolving dinner reservations tonight all right so we are at Stanley Park and the totem poles are behind us but there's also like a boat gas station over here so let's go see that first and then see the the totem poles sure. all right let's do it fun at the totem poles and now we're headed to the spinny restaurant <laughs> the rotating restaurant vancouver's rotating restaurant top of vancouver, top of vancouver or something like that I'm using jesse shoehorn if you don't mind i haven't even looked at the menu which is not me usually i have like <laughs> it picked out what i want and i haven't even looked which is off brand so I 
I got the impressive, which was like Empress Gin. He took our menu. Empress Gin. I feel like Limoncello. Uh, <laughs> mm, some other things. But cute little like split looking cocktail. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Aperol. There's Aperol in here. So I got the, uh, the Caesar salad. I love a good Caesar salad. Also, this view is insane. Soup is soup. I looked at your soup and thought. <laughs> we're actually coming up on our, well, the stadium is near the hotel, so we're coming up by the hotel, but it's very hard to see, but our hotel is right over there. Is it on the opposite side of this, or is it on this side? I think it's on the opposite side. On the opposite side of the stadium. Salted mushrooms, amazing. Really good onion rings too. So I got the elderflower spritz. That was elderflower liqueur, sparkling wine, soda, something else in it. But it is freaking amazing. Amazing. Had a little bite of Jesse's lamb. Of course, delicious. So good. Welcome back to the bathroom. Seems like always, <laughs> but. Uh, we got back from dinner and honestly dinner was delicious you know how you have those places that like they're known for like the one thing which was you know the view being above everything else and like sometimes like everything else just kind of like just doesn't add up or doesn't really like follow suit so I'm happy to say the food was just as cool as the view I mean close close but food was amazing amazing food very happy the food was great the view insane and the really nice part is like they don't even rush you like when you're there and you're sitting there enjoying the view they don't rush you at all the one thing they do say is that if they sit you by one of the windows you're required to order uh an entree so which we're gonna do that anyway but i'm gonna take a bath and then check out i think is at 12 tomorrow so I'm gonna take another bath in the morning because I don't have a bath at home. So I hope you're not tired of all this bath content because <laughs> it only happens every now and then when we go somewhere. So, uh, which one am I using? Oh, using Mr. Pink Wink. If you haven't seen that, uh, <laughs> there's a video of Benedict Cumberbatch saying penguin wrong. Makes a handy highway for a parent penguin heading home from the it's hilarious. So we're going to do Mr. Penguin. Um, and then tomorrow we have a few things planned. I'm going to take our food tour. Super cool. It's all totem poles today. So that was cool. Um, I'm in this bath and then I'll do all my skin care. <sighs> Last day tomorrow. Vacation goes by so fast. So fast. Anyway, bath time. <laughs> morning good morning we check out in like two hours and it's so sad i'm so sad it's always bittersweet because i love being on vacation but then i end up missing home and my nephew and all the things but we got two hours before we check out a little less than two hours i know you're about to correct me <laughs> um, so yeah there's a couple things we're gonna do we have the food tour today and then we have this place I want to go to that has one of the best hot chocolates in the U.S. in the world, yeah. in the world because it's not the U.S. because it's here. Yeah. So, <laughs> in the world, call it Coco Moco, Coco something. I'm gonna go there before we go to the food tour, and then who knows what we'll do after that? We won't have much time. So, yeah, 
enjoying our last last little bit of Canada of course it's dreary like it always is but it's weird because it'll be like this and you'll assume this is how it's gonna be for the day and then the Sun will come out for a hot second and then it'll be nice but oh thing about this boat what Jesse was saying is is that it's so expensive to live here that it's cheaper to buy a boat right mm -hmm. it's cheaper to buy a boat and just have it docked okay. so, anchored not even, docked. not even docked just anchored and the law is that you can have it anchored for what three weeks two or three weeks, two or three weeks but they're real like lax with that so like there has definitely been a few boats that we've seen out here that haven't moved at least that i can notice um so we think that that's what that boat is something that was like or was <laughs> since it's halfway submerged um we think that maybe that's what that boat was is that it was one of the anchored boats since it's so so expensive to live here because we went through east Hargett street east hasting east hasting street and uh like i said yesterday they were doing some real drugs not like weed and stuff like something bad uh <laughs> so yeah even the guy in our uber was like it's crazy expensive to live here so we think that maybe that's what that boat was but yeah I'm gonna go take my last bath. I think I'm gonna use my uh, black rose bath bomb because it's in the morning that we're leaving. I'm saying, you said, what's been your favorite part? Bridge place and school, Granville Market. Uh, Capilano Bridge and then Granville Market. Yeah, I'll give you that. Capilano Bridge was really cool. It's really cool. I'm excited to see the little like gas clock or something. There's supposed to be like this gas town. Steam clock. Yeah. Steam clock. Steam clock. <laughs> And we were down there because we were by like the Steamworks Steam something brewery. So it was we were down there, so we missed it. But we're gonna go see that. So let me take my bath. Alright, y'all. We're done. We're done. I think we've done our last little walkthrough, right, Jess? Yep. Okay. Found a little treat. Yeah, <laughs> found a little treat. All right, I think everything is gone. Oh, it's this tub, bottom. tub. <sighs> but <laughs> just sit by sweet view, by stranded boat. Yeah, yeah. Whew. So nice up here, man. So nice corner suites. It's the way to go. All right, let's go. Let's get, let's get out of here before they try to charge me for being late. All right, so we checked out, sadly, and now we're at, we're walking to, because I wanted to see this armory, Coco Monk. I don't know why I get the names wrong as soon as I go to say them, but one of the places that has the best hot chocolates in the world, so let's see what they're talking about, man. Okay. And the chocolates. I mean, that sounds legit amazing. And so we keep everything raw. Thank so that's you. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's insane. got the authentic white hot chocolate authentic dark hot chocolate and you got a Harlem what? Haram. <laughs> Haram. Is that how you're supposed to say? Haram a la Turca. Alright so yours has like uh, Turkish coffee in it? Yeah. Alright let's go. You ready? Yep. It's kind of <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. The white hot chocolate's really good. Mm -hmm. 
regular fat shot. That's really good too, Jess. Mm-hmm. Mm. Damn. That's delicious. It's almost like um like fruity maybe. You know what I mean? Like not like sweet like that, but like can I try yours? Mm. You know what? I don't like yours. Mmm. Kinda surprised I like that. I'm not gonna lie. You wanna try mine? Switch. That was a delicious hot chocolate. Both of my hot chocolates. You said Belgium was better? I mean, Belgium was probably a little better, but this is really tasty too. They're both good. As you, you men say, I wouldn't kick either one out of bed. So, <laughs> somebody just gave me one. I'd drink either one of those happily. And not insanely expensive either so mm, delicious now on to the food tour so we're a little early which I'm very proud of myself we already learned a fact so Starbucks started in 85 correct started in 85 but the second one was opened up here um, and it says that it was opened in 87 but technically it was opened in 86 when they opened the when they <laughs> were smuggling beans across the border to uh, sell coffee to people here. So it says 87 on the sign, but they were actually open in 86. So they were smuggling beans, beans, not drugs, beans. Kelly Douglas Warehouse was built in 1905, so a little bit earlier than the train station was. And what happened was the water used to come to the back of the building. So you see that large window right there? That large window on that building, and we'll take a closer look at it. That actually opened out onto the water. And boats would pull right up to the window and they would offload Hello, and upload stuff. Um, so, um, that's why it was called Water Street. Here, this really ugly building. You'll notice there's a 200 at the bottom of it. It was part of Project 200. Vancouver is one of the only cities not to have a big highway coming into it. So we're back at Steamworks. <laughs> and I got the Rattler, right? The Peach Rattler? Right. And Jess, I think, got the IPA. Can I try your IPA? It always tastes like earwax to me. Much prefer this. You want to taste it? Sour beer with peach juice mixed in. <laughs> taste it. You didn't even cheers me. Cheers. Uh. We're taking you for some Japanese pub food. So, uh, welcome to Goo. Different sauces, so like a soy sauce? No. Okay. Is anyone. Because our numbers mm -hmm. change, we keep getting in extra food. So you can it down. Yeah, you always go fight it over there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty tasty, eh? Mm -hmm. And probably, who here has had Japanese pub food before? Mm. Yeah. All right, so this one is the steam clock that uh, everybody was talking about. So on the hour. It does the full it's right there. So, ready? And it's a full phrase, and then it will do a long blast, and then it will do a series of short blasts indicating the time. At 15 minutes past, it does a quarter of it. At half past, it does Thank you. 
so now we're at brioche and it is a <laughs> you don't eat cheese <laughs> thank you got my white wine it's a three cheese tortellini in a pork infused sauce did you try it Jess? the sauce the sauce is really good mm-hmm <laughs> Mm -hmm. So when they rebuilt this building, they wanted to have two entrances, one for the poor and one for the rich people, but they weren't allowed to do that. So what they did instead was they built a glass wall that was still part of the same building, it's clearly two. But they built a glass wall to say that this is the same building, but it is two buildings. So they did, in fact, in fact build an entrance for the rich and an entrance for the poor. So pretty dirty. So this is the meatless cauliflower with the tangy sauce, right? Boneless cauliflower. Sure. Boneless cauliflower. Meatless too, yes. Meatless and boneless, but it's all yeah, making a mess. It's, it's, it's delicious though. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is what happened that the door wasn't locked. If you sobered up enough to realize you could just walk out, you could go home. You were allowed to go home because you figured it out. So uh, when we walk by, you'll see jailer is written on the building, but it's in the old English style. You just... Jack, if you can build a bar, build a bar. So he took his last six dollars and he went down to the docks and said to the workers there, if you help me build this bar, I will give you this barrel of whiskey that I bought with my last six dollars. That bar was up in 24 hours. <laughs> John Clough. John Clough was the lamplighter for Gastown. He only had one hand. You'll see he has no right hand. But how much do you think he got paid for that one month of work? A dollar. A dollar. Which coincidentally, I don't think I mentioned it over there, was how much it cost to stay at that hotel. He only had the job for one month. They named a bar after it. And they named another bar. <laughs> All right, so we finished our food tour, which was a blast. Do you like it? There's a lot of cool places. Unfortunately, we weren't very hungry afterwards because we could have stopped somewhere and got like 10% off a couple of the places, but we're full and it's weird too because our flight is so late so we have two hours to just kill but really nothing to do so we're just gonna figure out something to do to waste our time but I hope you enjoyed Vancouver we enjoyed Vancouver I don't know if I'd come back in the winter again because it's very wet but I would definitely come back just know it's really rainy in the winter and there's a lot of drugs downtown like a lot but <laughs> if you've watched all this way I appreciate you like and subscribe and go follow me over on Instagram if you want to see more of like what I get into day-to-day -day kind of thing but I'll see you on the next one bye y'all